Hey everybody, welcome back to Vampire. Dan here with No Games for Old Men, and we have just defeated Jeffrey McCollum, leader of the Guard of Prywin. And we now know that Dr. Swansea is being held at the Finsbury Theater, where we confronted Doris Fletcher. So, we're just going to see if there's anything we can do in the way of upgrades before we head that direction. I have not done any up updates or specials on this saber at all. So, we've got... Enhanced damage or handling, then enhanced handling or blood absorption. Damage and blood absorption, damage and blood absorption. Okay, so we could do two, two handling and two damage and make this a damage dealing, not very tiring weapon. That could be an option. Okay, so now how does this compare to my bone saw? 252 damage, 240. Attack speed is 10, versus 15 with the hacksaw. Stamina is 16, versus 20. Okay. Okay, so this does a little bit more damage. The saw absorbs a little bit of blood. Yeah, I don't know, I think I might still stick with the saw. Still don't have enough white phosphorus to do incendiary damage. My goodness. Have I fully upgraded this? Yeah, I have. Well, okay. How about our mace here? Uh, the cudgel, too. I totally kind of... I favored the cudgel for so long. Because it did good stun damage, and then I... Ditched it for the... The mace here, do I have enough to upgrade this? I sure do. Got exactly what I need to boost this. Wow, I could really make this a damage dealer if I... Okay. I think... I think I'm done. Oh, uh... Yeah, I don't have enough of anything to... make serums or anything, so... We're just gonna head to the... Oh, oh, what do we have here? Lord Hammersley. Yeah! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> uh oh, oh boy. Hey, 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 come on, bruiser, let's work together. Whoops. No! I needed... Alright, he's done. Oh, nice. It's 
Oh, <laughs> so much for all the healing. Holy smoke. All right, where's, where's Hammerly's corpse? Did he not drop anything for me? Oh, 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 what was that? What was that? Okay, yeah, 107 shillings. All right, so yeah, ooh, all the lords. They got some money. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of combat going on now. You can tell the city is just completely falling apart. It's kind of cool though, it adds some some chaos and a dynamic nature to the- Oh, Bunch of nakies! Oh right, okay, 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 where are we going, where are we going? Focus, refocus. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh! Oh! My goodness. This is just a rogue econ. Ooh. Well done. Uh oh. Wow. What was that? Was weird. I tried to dodge and just no response. Can you please connect? with the stake. Please. There we go. My goodness. He was right in the middle of it. He took no damage. Uh oh. Out of stamina. Crud. 
Oh my gosh, what a fight. <sighs> my hat's off to you, sir. That was... That was something. Oh gosh. Jeez, these guys are... Everywhere. I think in the theater is where Usher Talltree's diary is, so we'll be able to complete that side quest at the same time. Oh boy, here comes another one. He used to catch me on fire. He doesn't have a torch. Oh, swing and a miss. All right. Oh, one more. At least. Oh, nope. Two more. <laughs> Come on. Let me. Let me target. Let me target. I cannot target the brawler. How weird. There we go. Gee, what? I can only target him if I'm in that mode. That's interesting. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. too badly. Alright, now let's go in through the front door. I don't think we need to go through the back. We'll see. What awaits us in here. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. New headquarters? Oh, strong blood serum. Wow, okay. Rivets, which is what I need to do some more upgrades. Did I just hear footsteps? Oh, oh, there's Dr. Swansea. Oops. Oh no, a priest. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Crap, there's those velvet ropes are 
Crap, there's so many dudes. Gosh. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here and... Oh, man. Oh, wow. He led me like a pro. Disappointing. Okay, is there some way that I can take these guys... One at a time, so there's not so many of them all at once. Maybe if I go upstairs first, take care of the guys that are up there. Because the guys upstairs came downstairs once the fighting started, so... Let's get... Let's get this guy first. We cannot be defeated! Elite! Oh. Elite! Oh no! I hit him too many, too many times. Okay, got him. Nice. Preacher. I actually don't know where he came from. No rest for the wicked. Brawler. Okay, well, maybe I can take this guy now. Whoops. Oh! <laughs> I think I just barely avoided that. Alright, got him. Okay, this is going better. This is going better. Where are you going? Don't ever turn your back on me. Alright, let's go loot the brawler before we move deeper. There's the chaplain. Okay, so he's inside there. Ooh, we can get this guy. That was rad. Investigate the kidnapping. Uh, we also, actually, I could probably activate this. Because that's supposed to be in here, too. Below me. Below. So resistant to uh, the stake. He's not resistant to melee.
Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. There. Mercy. It's locked, all right. Hmm. So Dr. Swansea is deeper underground. to go down. Red, but it's got the I cannot enter. Okay. What am I missing? Okay, this gets me back onto the stage. This door is locked. It's locked. Any other doors? To, it's like a trap door in the floor, maybe? No? I don't see anything that looks like that. That goes up. Hmm. All right, maybe we will go around back then. Hmm. Not sure if I'm missing something. But I feel like going when I was in the back, when I entered the theater the first time, you go up to the turn at a more convenient time. The third floor. I'll return at a more convenient time. What's? Whoops. Oh, hello. Oops. 
My other thought is, is he in the sewers? But I don't think there's a. I don't think we're near the sewers. Yeah, we're not. All the sewer entrances are along the river here. the balcony. Oh gosh, they didn't respond, did they? No. I know how to drop through the floor, but that's only one sure that was necessary. Yep, and then here we are, back down on the stage again. What in the world? Is it back here? What am I missing? Is, is there a key somewhere? It's gotta be a key, maybe, that opens this door. That I'm missing. Maybe. Oh, diary. Column's report. I just finished reading Doris Fletcher's journal, as painful and dreadful as it was. My God, the woman planned to see everyone in London afflicted by infecting all who would come to her next play. It helped me understand greatly what is going on. Doris Fletcher's real name was Doris Jones. The daughter of some Harriet Jones, who's been treated as a patient for a long time at the Pembroke Hospital. She clearly hated her mother, but used her fame and notoriety to see her while visiting the poor and sick in the East End. I don't know exactly what happened then, but this is how her mother infected her before returning to the theater. Ooh, so Harriet. Uh-huh. Harriet is... Well, not quite patient zero, but... Okay, and how she turned into that monstrosity that the leech known as Jonathan Lee Reed finally defeated. The presence of that vampire in the same hospital Harriet Jones was treated can't be a coincidence. I'm convinced he is deeply involved with the vampire plague going on in London right now. I'm also convinced Swansea is his accomplice and that those two are planning something more terrifying than anything the guard has ever faced. Maybe I should take some time to read the old books and manuscripts the guards still possess to get some answers. It may prove useful. In the meantime, I better send some patrols to investigate what is occurring at the Pembroke Hospital. It took me two days to parse through the dusty registers and books we keep in the vault. God, I hate losing time like this. The search did prove fruitful for once. I found two pages that could be related to the present situation and a copy of William Marshall's memoirs. I took them with me to read more carefully. This creature Marshall says he fought in 1666. This disaster that aimed to destroy London. It is very similar to what happened with Doris Fletcher. Disease, infection, 
hate of the living, a desire to see the city ransacked. I have no doubt now that the blood, the bloody old leech of William Marshall is behind all this, and that he is back. This could be our greatest accomplishment. The guard could at last find and destroy that old bastard. I believe what Marshall did in 1666 is exactly what Reed is now trying to do. Did the creature, this disaster, escape their will? Is it why Marshall destroyed him in 1666 and Reed did the same with Doris Fletcher before she became a creature? I don't know. But those two are clearly working together and Swansea is helping them. I will immediately- Oi! Stop doing that. When you've got long text, you need to give people time to read it before jumping to... Don't kick me for being idle when I'm reading your long, long paragraphs of text. Those two are clearly working together and Swansea is helping them. I will immediately give orders to have him arrested and interrogated. As for Reed, I'll destroy that evil beast myself. And then we'll deal with William Marshall and this disaster thing. Prewin will prevail once more. Doris Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Oh! Theater stage key. Boy, howdy. Thank goodness. Now we can go. Alright. Now I know Edgar's not going to be down here by himself. So I need to be careful. Maybe he is down here by himself. Anything here? Anything here? It's locked, all oh right. Oh my god, more locked doors. All right, very well. Oh gosh. The Prewin's sleeping here? Up. Oh, hello. <laughs> nope, not gonna do that. Not gonna be turning around. Sorry, bub. <laughs> he wasn't having it. Doc? Doc is not here. The Vampire Knight. New collectible. William Marshall. Forget the legend about the man. The one most of you never heard of, you lazy bastards. Forget the empty tomb in Temple Church. Forget the death of those among us who died trying to locate him. We, the guard, know that he is still hiding somewhere. That's the only fact we must keep in mind. Another small detail we need to keep in mind, this little fucker is clever. How many times have we thought we had him cornered to find out, to find, to finally only find dust and cobwebs? Marshall has been a vampire for a thousand years. We're no match until we change our plans concerning his hunt. So here are a few questions for you, lazy bastards. And, all, and I want all of them answered before speaking of another great hunt to pin the leech down. Who helped him escape this his den under Temple Church? We know now, for a fact, that a private contractor was paid to move a large coffin from the church a few years before we investigated the tomb. What exactly did the traitors of the Brotherhood of St. Paul discuss with Marshall when they met, when they met in 1785 in London? The report of this meeting has been burnt, but witnesses remain of a request made by Marshall to access a special book in their library. Why does the monstrosity known as Lady Blackwood, ooh, new character, Lady Blackwood seem linked to Marshall? They exchanged letters. She went in London to meet him in 1786, according to the Brotherhood spies. She tried discreetly to 
to discreetly buy his castle in Wales in 1793 before fleeing when spotted by our fearless mentor, Kendall Stone. See the pattern here? What happened during these few years? Why such agitation and activity? Answer these questions, my brothers, and you will find the path to our most eminent foe, William Marshall, oldest vampire of England to survive our righteous wrath. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch, Prywin Leader. Was that the last one we needed for our buddy? Nope. Fertile is the belly of the beast is the one we need. Okay. All right. Okay. But we are finding... Oh. William Marshall's memoirs. The Brotherhood of St. Stole... St. Paul's Stole finally agreed to meet me in London. They proposed to meet inside the new cathedral of St. Paul. I like the wit and solemnity of these men. What a symbol to choose the place where I defeated this disaster, but also the place where I fell. I agreed to their proposition. There, in the sacred silence of the church and under the eye of God, they respectfully listened to me. They acknowledged my victory against this evil creature, the Dus Astro, the eater of stars, who only wished to spread death and pestilence all around her. Since they acknowledged my will to save London in 1666, they heard my request, my burning desire to stop the blood of hate. The primate promised to come back to me with an answer. The primate of St. Paul wrote back to me with just a name, the Tear of Angels. According to him, this ancient artifact could heal anything, cleanse any blackened soul, and purify my blood. Blessed be the Lord, it took me more than a hundred years to find a cure for the blood of hate, but I may have finally found it. Soon the rage shall end. Soon I may repair the wrong I did and cleanse my failures. Now all I need to do is retrieve the necessary ingredients to create the artifact. Blood of the purest heart mixed with the blood of a king. To find such rare ingredients is not what worries me the most, for time is on my side. It's the last part that worries me. Pure essence of garlic. I'm afraid it will literally hurt like hell when I drink the antidote. But if that's the price to pay to cleanse my soul and correct my mistakes, I'm ready to endure this excruciating pain. Blood of a pure heart. Garlic. Blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Here's another collector. Pinned note, evidence safe. Until further notice, the safe will be used to store sensitive evidences. It must always be locked. If you need to access it, just find me on the last floor to get the key. And bloody remember to bring it back to me when you're done. Rodney. I should find the key to that box. Rodney. It's locked. The Rodney? The Rodney that we know from... From, from, from... This dot, Rodney? Huh. Alright. Let's see, out, and then... Edgar! Edgar! What have they done to you? Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. First, I'm going to sit you in this chair. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. 
He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would dare to attack us in the open. What b became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Nope, not at all. Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I... I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Why would the Guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession? Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. A terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic 
The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Dude. Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. I made a mistake. But what is science if not trial and error? We both know it, Jonathan, we both know it. What a poor justification for your morbid fascination and thirst for glory. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Oh. My god. I have to decide what to do. Let him die. Turn him into a vampire, sacrificing 3,000 XP in the process. Or embrace him. Holy smoke. Oh my god. I want to, like, stop the episode here and put up a poll on YouTube to see ask people to what they would vote for oh my god i none of these are good if i embrace do i get a bunch of xp <sighs> yes your death is imminent dr swansea but i swear it will be quick <sighs> I already told you to call me Edgar. Am I no longer your friend? I believe you never have been, sir. You have lied to me at every step and betrayed the trust of a woman I cherish. Uh -huh. You you and the lady? Really? Well, I should have seen it coming, I suppose. May I add that I welcome this? The biting, I mean. You have your wish. Is it going to hurt? I always wondered if you... Ah! <sighs> there. Are you guys happy now? <laughs> Holy crap, man. Ugh. What? Ugh. Chapter 6, Destroy Harriet Jones, the source of the Skull's epidemic. Prepare to fight the disaster. A small key. Oh my god, what's the small key for? Is that Edgar's key? So, probably if I go to his office... There will be something there. A, a chest or a cabinet or something that's locked. It's... I don't think it would be this key. It's locked, yeah, alright. Okay, because that's... Oh my goodness. And this... It's locked, alright. Yep, that's locked from that side. World. I am stunned. 
that is every single pillar of the community is now dead. All of them. Is that the way it's supposed? Oh wait, I didn't find his the the guy's journal. I'll bet it's in the safe. That's got to be in the safe, right? Because I've looked everywhere. All right, we're gonna go talk to Rodney. See if we can get the the key for that safe, and then we'll come back. And hope that Usher Talltree's journal is in the safe. Return at a more convenient time. Why does he keep saying that? All right. Talk to Lady Ashbury, Pandora's box, find the safe's key. Is that what that quest is called? Pandora's box. Oh, okay, yeah, so I do need to go go talk to Rodney. Is Yeah, he's not marked on the map though. I know he's in Whitechapel, though, right? Isn't he? Where is he? Where is Rodney? He's by He's by, oh, what's the guy's name? Martin Nightingale? Martin Nightingale? Right? The guy who's hanging out near, outside of Enid Gillingham's place. Now, where was that? Was that him? We'll just make a marker there. Uh, or do we go talk to Lady Ashbury first? Uh... No, I think we've got to go. We've got to go find this key. I'm curious. I want to know what's in that safe. Uh, but we'll do that next episode. My gosh, what a conclusion to that chapter! I can't believe. I can't believe Edgar is dead. And I did it. I mean, I've killed all the other pillars of the community, but I really thought Edgar would be the one that would maybe live. I just, oh my god. Oh, and all the, all you who were saying, eat this guy, eat that guy. Eat okay, done. Are you, are you happy now? Now you know what it's like. Okay. See you next episode. Hope you come back. I think we're at the end of the game. I think we're, I think we're, we're racing toward the conclusion. I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Thanks for watching.